What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at some epic attacks from this girl. However the heck you say her name, I don't really know. But we're going to be showing you how to capitalize on all her strengths and to abandon all her weaknesses. So first off, I usually cast one trebuchet, two medusas, and then one more trebuchet. I like to have two medusas in there so I can really freeze people to stone. And if one is tied up and has already done her freeze spell, there's another one there to make use of her Medusa's gaze and it's also very helpful with the Minotaur if one is getting charged the other one is there to back her up and it's important to keep those Medusa's alive with your health whip that little green spell thingy on the other side and I like to put them in defensive mode from time to time to get as many trebuchets cast out as you can with her we're gonna use her spindle needle spell and summon people instantly to your location. It's like GPS or something. So as soon as I got a free minute here, boom, boom, two Medusas and all the rest trebuchets and see if you can get one more trebuchet out of it. No, missed the chance. But let the Medusas do things while I tear it up up front. Get that char on tower down quick. Go back here, kill some little archers, this little warrior that got away there. Slip it into defensive mode and crack on the health whip. That'll make sure they walk through it nice and slowly, fully absorbing all of its healing potential. Back into attack mode. Take out the Minotaur. I'm almost ready again to cast another GPS spell. GPS villain's on me! Woohoo! This time I'm going to do all trebuchets because I have more than two medusas i have four medusas that should be enough for any situation and tons of firepower behind it all fire up the medusa and run for home they'll take care of him we're gonna make some headway on the gate front here maybe i'll even get in another chance okay i'm out of here so let the let let the minotaur charge and dodge always important to dodge the trebuchets and medusas will make short work of him and I'm going to try casting some people here. I'm not even going to get a chance. I tear down the gate so quickly. So that is the most effective way to use Adriadna. I think you spell her name. I have no idea if that's how you say it. So feel free to correct me in the comments. As I'm sure a bunch of snobby people will. People love to correct you in the comments. And you can see my potential gift at always getting the three crappiest boxes. I always seem to get them. On to the next. Oh, that time I got one of the best boxes. Books are my favorite things to get. Books and horns. Money I seem to get easily enough. Now this guy, if you've got to look at his base, he's got all his defenses right at the back. Which is the worst thing you can do. Because by the time I've got there, I've got so many troops built up. That I'm basically going to walk through anything with 8 medusas and 12 trebuchets. There's no stopping me. Heal whip, because that minotaur really took a chunk out of my trebuchet. Oh, ow, ow. And you can see in defensive mode, those medusas did not take a lot of damage from that raging minotaur. See a nice duck? They freeze him. Same again with these warriors. There we go. I got two healthy Medusas. One more Medusa and the rest trebuchets. Three Medusas is ample freezing power for any threat what may come. That guy was made pretty short work of. These guys must be level one Minotaurs. Healing Whip. Missed a couple there, but better than nothing. This Minotaur is not even going to make it over the wall. Nope. Busted. Ah, you can see it takes off considerable life. The Medusa stare on other Medusas. There we go. Soak them good with the healing whip there. Now they're almost full health. And I got a full needle and full spells. Get right between these two guys. Best to cast your fire right between them. Apparently I'm not doing that today. But knocking down some towers here. See, this is what happens when you put all your towers at the end. I'm just walking through everything you got. 
back in offensive mode, running for the gate. If you're at the, even at the front of the bridge and you got 30 seconds left, you're golden. And putting, putting two Prometheus towers right next to each other is never a good idea. Both bombs rage out on one target and I can fly them both back easily. You want them coming off, one over here, one away over on the other side of the screen. And look at that life drop, that's crazy fast. So, yay me, and don't put all your defenses right at the end. Let's see if I can get all three crappy boxes. There's two. Get it. Oh, and one not so crappy. But it's really not great. Okay, back to the map. So this is pretty much exclusively Adriadna gameplay. Open up all my chests here. People like to see chests opening up. I don't want to buy any of these. I just want to open up my general chests. I usually get three a day. I get my gem chest because I bought the 549 30, 30 chests of daily gems. And you get your bonus chest from watching the ads. You get four of those a day. And then this is my daily reward. Horns, money, books, good, money, crap. On to the next. Ha! Another great base where everything is at the end. They think they have some staggered defense that's going to be strategically stunning. And they will certainly fail. I'll wait for them to come to me. And really minimal defenses here. There's a couple of spearmen and a siren. I've given up on sirens so long ago. I am slowly upgrading them, but one Medusa is just not effective. I mean, all by itself, you're gonna take off a little bit of health, but there's nothing, nothing really there that's. Like, I'm not even concerned enough to stop and look at these guys. Never mind, fight them. There, I'll fire him. I'll blast the barricade. Nobody's even close enough. I'm gonna have to send back these bombs. I'll send back that one. Pew, pew, pew. So I'm running around, chopping the guys and sending the bombs back. I'm chopping the barricade. Okay, now we're in some trouble. My health is dropping, I got the heal whip going, I got the fire right in between these two guys, torch them both at once. Okay, I've gone way too far. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna die. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Let's get to the end, I've got Adrian Spindle waiting to go, I've got a full bar of blue power. Torch this guy cast off some spells. Let's use one Medusa and three trebuchets. Four trebuchets. 42 seconds left. We got tons of time. We're gonna do this by ourselves. That is the total advantage of Adriadna. Or whatever her name is. That one Let's see if I can get three crappy boxes. Yeah, I did it. The one drawback from that is if you haven't smashed all the towers previously, you'll only get two stars. You need to, to get three stars, you need to smash every tower. Let's see another box opening here where I'm always cursed with getting the three worst boxes. It's a special skill of mine. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't miss anything good there. Those diamonds would have been nice, but... Let's see who's next. See, I've got a string of islands here all... Oh, look, his defense is all at the end. I've got a string of islands all next to the girl I'm using, so... It's very handy. You spend a little ambrosia. You get a lot of attacks. And look at all those spearmen just drop. That was not effective at all for him. There's another slew of them here. She's taking no damage. He's lost half his attacking force, half his wave. And we're moving right along. I don't know how people get these cool looking uh, bases. I don't know if mine looks like that when other people attack, but I wish it did. But I'm 
tried decorating my path with boulevards and stuff, but you can't do it. You can do columns, um, columns, statues. So, uh, and that's about it as far as I know. I should get that bomb out of there. Got the healing whip protecting my lead guy, smashing out the towers. Spearmen have no effect. I found the best way to get Prometheus bombs to go back to their owners just to run in little circles. Even if you can't see them and they're somewhere close by you, just run in a little circle and you're pretty much bound to hit it. Hit it back where it belongs. Oh, that was a silly place to put a healing whip. But it will. Try and take out the ice tower for the Medusas. The ice tower always seems to kill my Medusas. The archer tower, not so much. Oof, look at those spearmen drop with that fire. No, oh, and that one little archer too. They also go much slower in defensive mode, so if you don't have a lot of time, make sure you keep them in offensive mode when you're rushing to the end. Whoa, nice freeze there. See how slow they're going? And they do a lot less damage. So if you keep them in defensive mode all the way home, you're not going to finish the level. Nope, you're not going to do it. So let's try again for the curse of the three crappy boxes. Oh, very close. The best one was even crappy at that, so... Considering I need about 6,000 more horns, I don't think three is going to help. I would have rather had some ambrosia or something. Such is life, though. On to the next battle. <clears throat> this guy's name is Balashner. Well, welcome, Balashner. I will welcome your tribute of treasure unto my horde of treasure I have managed to collect from other people this morning. Wow, look at that Minotaur. He really did take a chunk out of my Medusa. I don't know why I'm not healing here. There we go. Hopefully, I can get that down, get their health up, get the charm tower down into little itty bitty pieces. And the Minotaur again doesn't make it over the gate. Can I hit him when he's up there? I guess my trebuchets can launch stuff up there. Burn this tower! Burn the tower. Burn the tower, Mob Squad. Burn the tower! Okay, I guess I figured I'll save him for something else. If there's not another tower in sight for a while, just use your fire. For pity's sakes, man! Anyways, this video is drawing to a close. This must be my last attack. I know this isn't a usual video I make for this channel, but I'm trying to expand into other videos, and lots of other people are making videos of this game, and they suck. Really not good. I've seen ones with no talking. People are starting right from the beginning with walkthroughs, which aren't helpful. Nobody cares. Everyone can do the first few levels. When you get up there, how do you do good? I seen one guy that was sponsored by the game, he had all the good gears, but no exciting attack commentary, like nothing, it's a boring video, I don't know how he got sponsored at all, but I should be sponsored, I rock, and I tear up almost everybody I hit, so yeah, watch my videos for the best gameplay, and other people's videos, well, oh. They do the best they can, and that's okay. So this will be my last attack. Kick a bunch of trebuchets into action. I'm going to stand here like a boss and just boss people around. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page, Best iOS Games, for a whole host of other great iOS games you can play that are awesome. More will be coming shortly. Check it for the curse of the three crap boxes, because I got it going on like that. Oh, yay, I got one of the best ones. That's one of the best little books I've ever seen. Anyways, thanks for watching. Olympus Rising. Don't forget to check back here for more videos. Peace out and be good to each other, people.